Hi, I'm Sebastian Gomes, host of Salt and Light's book show, Subject Matters, and here's my take on Jubilee, 50 Years of Solidarity, co-edited by Danny Gillis. Now, this is a book to mark the 50th anniversary of the Canadian Catholic Organization for Development and Peace, commonly known as Development and Peace, DNP, Caritas Canada. Most Canadian Catholics will know DNP at the local level, at uh, their parish. There's usually a, a church rep, a DNP rep, in the community who promotes the fall educational campaign or the share lent campaign which raises money uh, for partner-based projects in the global south to promote development and to tackle structural injustice it's a coffee table book and it's really a highlight reel of the last 50 years so you're getting you know some of the original impulse and energies uh, that the bishops had in the 1960s when they came back from vatican ii to start this organization you're learning about some of the incredible laymen who actually took the reins in the 1960s, the 1970s, and gave it legs. You're getting some snapshots of the countless campaigns over the years um, and partnerships that have been built with people all over the world in the Global South. It's really remarkable. The breadth of those relationships is astonishing. You get it all in the book. And lastly, the participation of Canadian Catholics in these programs. I mean, literally, DNP is a totally national organization. It's French and English. It's coast to coast. Every type of Canadian Catholic can be involved. Lay people, religious communities, the bishops, it's all of us. There are four parts to the book. It talks about the movement, uh, DNP's approach to partnership, advocacy, very important to its mission, and the final chapter is on renewal. And you're getting a great mix of history, storytelling, and I would say prophecy, because what we learn is that throughout the 50 years, there have been a lot of campaigns built around uh, sustainable development, you know, climate issues and justice, agriculture, that kind of thing, which is obviously now the big issues that we're facing in the world. A couple things I want to point out about the book um, that really struck me is that DMP for the last 50 years has had this constant effort to change the way Canadian Catholics think about development. And how they put it in the book is like this, that the poor are the primary architects of their own development and more than equal partners in the struggle to build a more just world. In other words, aid, charity, raising money, it's not something that we do for these other people because we're lovely people who want to feel good about ourselves. We recognize that people have to develop themselves and we just give them a little bit of help and opportunity and they take it in the direction they want. And the other point that really jumps out in the book that I wanted to point out is that through DNP, some really profound transformations in people's lives have taken place. And I don't just mean the partners, the poorer people in the Global South, who DNP is working with. I'm talking about Canadian Catholics who have learned through these encounters, through these partnerships, to let go of power. That is a remarkable transformation that comes through in these stories. And, and by that, I mean the power of money, the power to dictate a kind of agenda because you're giving money, um, the power of a sense of superiority, that because we're coming from a developed country, we expect people to develop in the same way that we would develop. Uh, so that, that transformation of humility that takes place in seeing the lives and the situations that people are living in the Global South and then giving them the freedom to make the decisions that they think are best is really, really remarkable. All of this is beautifully presented in this book with pictures, short stories. It's very accessible, very readable. Wonderful coffee table book and something that every Canadian Catholic can be very proud of. So happy anniversary to Development and Peace and enjoy reading Jubilee, 50 Years of Solidarity, co-edited by Danny Gillis.